So today I'm gonna to be feeding my monitor lizard some fish I caught. These were farmed raised bass from my friend's pond. He takes good care of his pond, so these fish are pretty healthy. Yet I still gutted them to just to make sure there's no internal parasites. I'm sure there are parasites because you know they're outside fish, but I froze them and then defrosted them just to make sure I could kill as many as I could. But for the most part, he's a pretty healthy lizard and he should be okay, but these are good fish that have oils in their head and scales and some bones so it's all it's all good good nutrients for them just then a filet from the hcb store or grocery store but um let's see if he wants to eat you hungry buddy there you go it's a fish come on come out come out for a little bit There you go, buddy. Yeah, get some dirt on it. That's always good. Down the hatch. This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, that's pretty big, actually. Think he could do it? Oh, let's see if he could do it. Uh, why you always have to put dirt on it? No. I had to put the phone down to try to clean off some of the dirt. I mean, it wouldn't hurt him, but I still rather him eat a clean fish. So try this again. Oh, uh, yep. That's some monitor lizards for you. Here, how about we eat it in your cage? There you go. Eat it on your cage. Eat it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this, this is what I live with. Okay, I'm gonna take it away from him and clean it. I don't understand why you have to make it so complicated. It's not even alive. You didn't even have to kill it. There it is, down the hatch, into the beast. That was really dramatic. Now I have all this mess to clean up, but I mean, that's what happens when you own a big lizard that's stubborn, I guess. That's a very good meal for him though. And I will be trying to make some other videos like this with some other animals that I could feed to him. But um, yeah, it's pretty good.